I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some application questions based on sign law. The question here is, to measure the height of a tree, I walked 12 meters from the base of the tree along an inclined path to a point P. From P, the top of the tree appears at an angle of elevation of 70 degrees. Find the height of the tree to the nearest meter if the inclination of the path was 15 degrees. Now let's first try to understand the question by making a sketch. Let's, let's assume that this is the tree for us. Okay. Now I'm walking along a path which is inclined. So let's say this is the horizontal thing, the horizontal ground. And when I say we are walking along an inclined path, uh, let's say this is the inclined path. What we are given here is that the angle of inclination is 15 degrees. So this angle here is 15 degrees. We are also given that angle of elevation to the top of the tree is 70 once we reach a point P. So let's say this is the point P. So angle of elevation is always from the horizontal. So this line is horizontal. This line is parallel to the ground. Okay. Now from here, the angle of elevation is 70 degrees. So that is to say that the angle, it doesn't look like, but let us say this is 70 degrees. And we have to find the height of the tree, that is, this much distance. So that's the question for you. Now, once the sketch is there, I hope it is simpler. You can pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my solution. We are also given that I walk 12 meters. That means this path, uh, let's say this is the tree, let's say A and B. So from B, it is 12 meters that I walked. So that means the whole length here is 12 meters. This length is okay. Right. Now let's see how to solve and get the height of this particular tree. Now from the given scenario, we know that Z pattern is being formed. So these are alternate angles. So this angle should also be 15 degrees. That makes the bigger angle as 70 plus 15, right? So we can say that angle APB is equal to 70 degrees plus 15 degrees, which is 85 degrees. We are given that P to B is 12 meters. Now, we need to find the height, but we need one more angle. So how could you find? So we can actually calculate the angle at A, since let's call this point as D, right? So the triangle A, P, D. So in this triangle, angle A is equal to 180 degrees, take away 70 degrees, the angle of elevation and this angle is 90 degrees right take away 90 degrees so that gives you 20 degrees correct so angle a is 20 degrees so i hope this is absolutely clear it's a right triangle angle apd triangle is a right triangle so angle a is 20 degrees now we can apply the sine law and find the height perfect so the ratio of the side ab to sine of the angle which it makes, the angle it makes is P, which is 70 plus 15, 85, should be equal to the length H, which is AB. Okay, now what are we given? We are given the side of 12 meters opposite to 20 degrees. So we'll use that one. So it's equal to 12 over 
sine of 20 degrees. Is that clear? So from here, cross multiply to find AB, which is also the height, right? AB is the height for us, for the tree, is 12 times sine of 85 degrees divided by sine of 20 degrees. Let's calculate. So we have 12 times sine of 85 degrees and we are going to divide this by sine of 20 degrees. So we get 34.95. So let me round it to whole numbers since all the numbers are in whole numbers. So, so we get 35 meters. So our answer is height of the tree is 35 meters. Right. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Always try to make a neat diagram which helps you to solve the situation whenever you are given a real life situation. And then we use the strategy that parallel lines with the transverse line gives alternate angle as equal angles. So, so the angle DPB is equal to the angle 15 because they are alternate angles, right? So both are 15 because they are alternate angles. Let me write it down. Correct? So they were equal. We found that in the right triangle with 70 degrees angle, the angle at A should be 20. So once we have a combination of angle with opposite side, do you see this? Then you can apply this sine law. We applied the sine law and solved the equation. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write comments and share your views. I'll provide you with a link which will take you to many other application questions based on sign law. If you really like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.